Hello, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com, and I'm here today to talk to you about meeting my future self. I've got an amazing story to tell you, and it goes way back to my past when I was a teenage girl, and I had just fallen asleep. I was beginning to dream, and I had a dream that was realer than reality. It's one of those things that just feels like I'm still awake. It's basically a lucid dream because I was awake in the dream. I knew I was dreaming, but at the same time, I was experiencing something that seemed completely real. The odd thing is, what was happening at that time was that I was meeting my future self. And the way I experienced this in the dream was that a person who looked very much like me, but some decades older, was floating, walking, through the mirror sliding glass doors in, that covered my closet across the floor and she was thinking to me and I was talking back to her. Apparently I was talking out loud because my father later came to my room, woke me up and asked me if everything was okay. I assured him that it was, although I didn't know how to explain what had just happened. But the experience is a little bit stranger than that because this future self of mine continued walking across the floor approached a desk that I still have to this day, opened a bottom drawer, retrieved a letter from the desk, continued calming me down, thinking things to me, um, instead of talking out loud. And I was still talking out loud back to her in the dream. And I don't usually talk in my sleep. In fact, just about never. And then she returned the way she'd come. The next morning, I found that that letter that had been in my desk was missing. So... It's an experience I write about in my new book, Reality Shifts, When Consciousness Changes the Physical World. And I've got a picture of what I looked like back then. You can see this picture here. And it's an amazing experience to have something like this happen. It's hard for me to put into words what it feels like. But there have been other times that I've talked about on these videos and also on my blog and my Reality Shifters website about the Vardag or phenomenon, which is a Norwegian term for um, people arriving before they actually get there. And it's something that the Norwegians have known for a long time, uh, Scandinavians too, and it's a worldwide phenomenon. So there's this idea of a time loop that can occur at times. And this month, March 2012, I was writing in my blog this month about a woman that was driving a green Subaru in British Columbia. She was going to pick up a friend and she knew that her bike was, uh, her friend was arriving on a bicycle. So she had the bike rack attached to the car and her car was pretty unique on that country road at that time. And on her way driving to go pick up her friend, she saw herself driving that same brand new green Subaru with the bike rack on the back. Uh, her Herself didn't seem to acknowledge her and they were going opposite directions. By the time she reached the place where her friend would have arrived from the ferry with a bicycle, her friend assured her, I don't need a ride. I'd rather dry off by riding my bicycle. And so, astonished and feeling a little bit shaken up, she ended up driving the same way back that she had just seen her future self. So I think this is interesting that sometimes we do actually witness our future selves, and it's something of tremendous interest to me. And like I said, I do write a lot about reality shifts in this book, Reality Shifts When Consciousness Changes the Physical World. Also, my website, realityshifters.com, is full of stories, and I'd love to hear yours. So feel free to comment and write to me. And until next time, keep asking, how good can it get? This is Cynthia Sue Larson with realityshifters.com.